Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. We have stepped into 75th milestone meeting. It has been a long waiting for all of us to arrive this occasion. The most beautiful things are memories and, mile and moments. Remember to celebrate milestone as you prepare for the road ahead. This is again a key moment in our Toastmasters journey. Get ready with your cold drinks and seats to listen to the hot updates and surprises of today. I'm Toastmaster Himalita standing in front of you as surgeon and at arms of today's meeting. I'm very glad in welcoming you all for 75th milestone meeting of SMVC Toastmasters Club. Before stepping into the meeting, I request everyone to rename in the following format. For role players, TM name underscore role name. For other Toastmasters, TM name underscore club name. For staffs, name underscore staffs. For students, name underscore students. For guests, name underscore guests. Once again, I request you all to understand the following format within five seconds. Here is the mission statement. The mission of Toastmaster Club is to provide a mutual supportive and positive learning environment in which every individual member has the opportunity to develop oral communications and skillful leadership and which in foster self-confidence and personal growth. As we start with our meeting, I would like to mention three ground rules which should be followed in our Toastmaster meeting. Number one, videos should not be turned on and off during meeting. Number two, all others can turn off your mics while speaker is speaking. Number three, we, uh, taboo topics such as religion, sex and politics should not be discussed. With this, I hand over the session to the cool captain who has been flawlessly working towards our milestone, a very great programmer, and also he was known as Wikipedia of SMBC. He is none other than our adventure, Toastmaster Anand. Over to Toastmaster Anand. Thank you, SAE, Toastmaster Hemalata, for your amazing introduction. Good morning to all. Once upon a time in the jungle, there were four frogs. In that, one frog is deaf. The deaf frog wanted to climb the tallest tree in the jungle to see the beautiful view. At that time, the other three frogs had demotivated the deaf frog not to climb the tree. It is impossible. Since it is deaf, it thought they were motivating me to climb the tallest tree. After the continuous effort of the deaf frog, it reached the tallest point 
and had a beautiful view. So from this, be deaf to the negative thoughts and if your aim is to reach your goal, said by Gautama Buddha. With this beautiful quote, I officially welcome you all for our 75th milestone meeting. Now, let's get into the team called SMEC News. For this, we are having our eminent Masters of Ceremony, Toastmaster Yami and Toastmaster Maheshwaran. Over to them. Hello viewers, you are watching Toastmasters Global Television presents SMVC News. On this day, we have a mountain of news which is very exciting and important to be heard by all. Today's headlines, SMVC Toastmasters Club has started their 75th milestone meeting at 10 a.m. In search of gold, we lost diamonds, says Toastmaster Lalit Kumar. Now it is time for the detailed report. SMBC Toastmasters Club is celebrating their 75th milestone meeting. Everyone present there are anxious and excited at the same time. Our reporter Maheshwaran is currently present at the spot. Maheshwaran, what is the current situation there? Who all are present there and what is happening there? Yes, Yami, as you can see, SMVC Toastmaster Club is always filled with fun and entertainment. For this wonderful occasion, we have the placement officer of Sri Manakura Vinayagar Engineering College, Kaila Sir, the HOD and the staff of all departments in Sri Manakura Vinayagar Engineering College. From the Toastmaster fraternity, we have the district bios, the district directors, the division directors, the area directors, Last but not the least, the members along with the guests had came here to make this event more beautiful. This is reporter Magay Soren reporting from the spot for SMVC News with my camera and Zoom. Thank you, reporter Maheshwaran. We will start with our news updates. As the world is facing a pandemic right now, lockdowns have been implemented to the world for about a year and a half. Students who used to cry and pray to God to stay at home and not go to school are crying and broken to the fact that their holidays are too long and too much. It looks like God has finally answered their prayers for them to not to go to school, but they all are regretting it now since they hate staying indoors the whole day, using their mobile phones to attend online classes, and not being able to interact with their friends is making them go crazy. They all are saying that, in search of gold, we lost diamonds. Now we have someone here who is one among them. He is someone who loves to interact with his staffs to ask doubts, but it has become impossible for him to do so because of the current situation. He has shared his golden days experience, that is, spending time with his friends during his school days. This person is none other than Toastmaster Lalit Kumar. Now, let us take a look at his montage. Toastmaster Lalit Kumar, Nostalgia. Nostalgia, Toastmaster Lalit Kumar. Some days, I wish I could go back in life, not to change anything, but to feel a few things twice. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and beloved guests. This is Toastmaster Lalit Kumar, standing in front of you to share my nostalgic moments that happened in here. Nostalgia. First of all, what is nostalgia? Nostalgia is an expression of feeling happy or feeling sad when you remember things that happened in the past. Nostalgic moments are irreplaceable that needs to be cherished. Every human has his or her nostalgic memory of his or her school life or college life. I do have an interesting moment to share with you all. So let us travel to the ninth year of my life. I remember it was the end of third standard. A competition week was being celebrated in my school. One evening of that week, I came home with a happy and surprising message to my mom. Ma, I have won second prize in mimicry competition. My mom, in a great surprise, asked, How did it happen? You have not given me for the competition and you have not people also. In that week, I had participated in two competitions. 
I got first place in poem recitation and second place in origami competition. I had made a paper butterfly for origami competition. And if you don't believe me, uh, here's the proof. For these two competitions, my mom trained me for three days. This was the reason why my mom did not believe me when I said I got second prize in mimicry competition. And then I explained to my mom what had happened. On that day, no one gave name for the competition. So my mom started calling one by one of us to make the sound that we like. In my turn, I made a sound of two cats fighting with each other. Meow, meow. Everyone in the class clapped for me. After hearing this, my mom congratulated me with hug and sweet kisses. She said, you have won with your own effort without my help. Da. I am really super proud of you. Da. After that incident, my self-confidence got to boosted up and I realized that I can, I can do mimicry. I can still remember another incident when I was in 10th class. We students were sitting and chatting in an evening revision class. Suddenly, a girl from outside entered our class in panic and slapped the door forcefully and there was a big bang sound. The sound was heard in the entire corridor. The class in charge from the next class came at once and investigated the reason for the sound. But the girl who shut the door did not come forward. Actual reason why she shut the door was she saw the principal near in rounds near the entrance of the corridor while she was reading outside the classroom. So to warn the class, so to warn the class, she rushed in a tense manner and to catch the attention of her classmates, she wanted to tap the door, but it ended in a great problem. Now the class in charge wanted to know the culprit who made that sound. I too noticed the girl shutting the door, but everyone in the class was silent and no one revealed the sound. No one revealed the reason. So the class in charge, the class in charge punished the whole class to kneel down. Everyone in the class kneeled down casually, but but the one, the proper girl of my class, started sobbing extraordinarily. One of her one of her classmates asked the topper girl of my class, "Hey, why are you crying?" For that, the topper girl replied, "This was my first punishment in the school without doing any mistakes." Already, we boys were envious of the girl as she scored full marks. So when she cried, I was a little worried. But the irony is, I was feeling very joyous inside. I was surprised how she passed her school life without doing any mistakes, without getting out, without getting any punishments. A girl who had never done any mistakes in her school life. Wow, I was astonished. After some time, the girl who was the reason for our punishment felt sorry for her act. At that situation, if she would have been bold enough to accept that mistake, the whole class would not land in trouble. Fellow Toastmasters, accepting and realizing one's own mistakes and failures is a good attitude and this leads an individual to the golden path of success. During this pandemic situation, school going students were seated at home for online classes. In my point of view, these younger generations miss so many things like classroom teaching, chatting with friends, and, and my most favorite part in school life is eating snacks during class hours. Oh, even Sir is watching me. In this way, I conclude my speech by saying that looking back is a way to sharpen the focus on the things that you want to change in your life. The warm glow of nostalgia amplifies us good memories and minimizes bad ones about experiences and relationship, trying us to revisit and renew our ties with friends and families. Thank you and over to you, the MCs. Thank you for your fantabulous speech, Toastmaster Lalit Kumar. Listening to your speech has led everyone to awaken the inner child in them. It also made everyone remember the days when they used to steal their friends' lunches during the lunch break and act as if nothing had happened which has also happened to most of us during our school days. Moving back, we got an update that the guests are continuously arriving for the 75th milestone meeting of SMBC Toastmasters Club and are giving out warm greetings. How are they feeling about this, reporter Maheshwaran? Thanks, Yami. 
many guests from various Toastmaster clubs are continuously arriving to this spot and I can be able to see they feel the good vibes while they're stepping into the milestone meeting and they think they can learn something new which will help them in their life. And the members of SMC Toastmaster club are very happy by seeing many guests attending the meeting despite it being held on a Sunday morning. And the president of SMC Toastmaster club has tweeted that the crowd in the milestone in the cricket stadium when there is a match between CSA with my camera man Zoom. Thank you, reporter Maheshwaran. Now it is time for 10 a.m. news. We just baked this beautiful Eiffel Tower cake, but we have no idea how we are going to send this to our members since the cost of the speed post is more than the cost of the ingredients used in this cake. Says Toastmaster Priya Dashni and Toastmaster Saranya as SMBC Toastmasters Club is going to celebrate their second year anniversary on June 25. We made the impossible possible. Breaking news. Do you people believe in time traveling? Is it possible? We just got an update that a person time traveled from the year 2050 to 2021. Is this true? How is this possible? This is beyond science. How can we believe this? What is our reason to be here and does she have any proof for this? To know more details on this, let me now call our reporter Maheshwaran. Yes, um, this person says that she had time travel from the year 2050 to 2021 to soak herself in the rain and to hear the fittest cut sound of the rain droplet. When we asked her what she, how she got interested in time traveling, she replied me that our friend Mani from 24 had modified his time traveling was so that one person can travel for a very long time period. Seeing this friend, sorry, report to my This person says that she had time travel from the year 2050 to 2000. to soak in droplets. When we asked friends how she got interested in time traveling, she played me that our friend Mani from 24 had modified his time traveling watch so that one person can time travel for a very long time period. Being his friend, she also got interested in time traveling and find her time traveling watch. She mentioned that time had played an important role in her life. She also mentioned that by using a time traveling watch, she can try and in her life. With all this information, we can't confirm that she is a time traveler for now. Because of this incident, the hashtag Andre Kanika Surya is trending on all social media platforms. This person is none other than Toastmaster Aishwarya. Toastmaster Aishwarya can share your experience in the year 2050 so that we can believe in you. Toastmaster Aishwarya, 2050 granny, 2050 granny, Toastmaster Aishwarya. Hello, grandchildren. I am your granny, Aishwarya Pragadesan from 2050. Life is a lot different from nowadays in many aspects. The population, the environment, transportation, education and people's lifestyle has changed to a new level. The world population has reached 9.7 billion in the year 2050 and our longevity has risen as many living well beyond under. We wear a huge range of sensors that constantly monitor blood pressure, blood sugar and blood oxygen level which is very crucial during this COVID treatment. With stem cells, nanoscale medicine, bearing an accident or a fatal disease, we live forever and look much younger. And I'm the living example of it. I'm 50 years old and I'm so young and stronger than you people. What do you guys have in your hand? Is it a smartphone? Oh, they were all replaced by our control. 
control centers which we wear in a series of devices around our body. We wear a smart contact lens with floating textures and a earring that sends messages with the help of a virtual assistant. And our social network is integral to the real time. Things, if I see a stranger on the road with facial identification software linked to the sense, I can instantly know his name and be able to access his profile. And it saves a lot of time somewhere. Artificial intelligence plays a significant role in our day-to-day -day life. Computers are at good at problem solving. There is not even a single aspect of life that has been transformed by technology. In 2050, I don't need an alarm clock anymore. The new biometric chip I have installed in me sends signal to the brain and gently wakes me up. And this chip does a full body diagnosis every four seconds. And it reduces the risk of complication during the treatment and any problem can be spot at a very initial stage. And this chip helps me to remember everything better and learn new things. And in case of any issue in my body, this chip directly contacts my doctor. And in case of emergency, I don't need anyone to travel to the hospital. Things all we own are self-driving cars and the accident rate is ground level. And the diesel and petrol cars have been totally substituted by more means of transport such as wind power and solar power. Since the diesel and petrols are the fossil fuel that have been over exploited by human activities. And in 2050, people are much passive than before. It's all because of my two robots, Ash and Zil, which help me with all kinds of works. Household works, cleaning, gardening, cooking, and also with my homework. And in 2050, people are getting married with robots. Even I got married with a robot named Chitty, who is intelligent, smart, and handsome, and does anything to make me happy. It does cooking and all the household talks just for me. The question is that whether Artificial intelligence are slaves or masters. Many inspirational, but some downright alarming. One of them is the science fictional sounding notion, such as that one day artificial intelligence will become more powerful than human intelligence. So genetically modified human beings are created to control AI. And Anything we do against nature, we do to ourselves. Somehow, machines have saved our time, energy, and cherished our life. But with the same time, do we use to improve our lifestyle, to build a better society, or to live a spiritual life in order to bring peace and harmony among countries? So, these are the, some of the duties we have for ourselves in 2050. With all the save time, save the nature. Since there is no separation between nature and mankind. So my dear darling grandchildren, the investment in time is the investment in you. The better future is created by what you do today. Thank you, TC, and over to you, MCs. Thank you, Toastmaster Aishwarya. By hearing a humorous and lively speech, we still not believe in time traveling. But we are very happy that human beings are still alive in the 2000 year 50. This is reporter Magesh Karan reporting from the spot for SMBC News with my camera and Zoom. Thank you for the update, reporter Maheshwar. Moving back to the 10 a.m. news. We made the impossible possible. It was always in my bucket list to fly to the United States, but flying without the visa and an air ticket made the journey even more magical, says Toastmaster Sarvesh as SMBC Toastmasters Club and Roseburg Speakers and Storytellers Toastmasters Club recently held a joint meeting. With this, 10 a.m. news is over. Let us now hear the top three news. 
It has been reported that Toastmaster Ashwin has become the Division G Director for the term 2021 to 2022. And Distinguished Toastmaster Vidya Bhopalan has become the Division F Director for the term 2021 to 2022. It has also been reported that Toastmaster Anuradha Prakash has become the Admin Manager of District 120 for the term 2021 to 2022. With this, the top three news is over. Let us now hear SMVC news updates. We got an update that our news channel is going to release their magazine today for the very first time, and the inauguration for that is going to start anytime soon. Our reporter Maheshwaran is currently present with an important person who is going to release the magazine today. Maheshwaran, who is this person and when is the event going to start? Yes, Shamu. The event is going to start very soon. I am with a very important person, Toastmaster Nandini, who is the creator of this magazine. This magazine contains all the current news updates of our news channel and it is also convenient for the users to use those who love to read. So, Master Nandini, who resembles blog gum, so sweet, and she also all working in whatever she does. Now, so Master Nandini is going to launch the magazine of SMVC News. Thank you, Maheshwaran. A pleasant morning to one and all gathered here as the newsletter chat. Here I am with the most important and an interesting duplication. So, let us all dive into it and see what is inside it. I think you may all wonder. What am I saying? Duplication? Yes, we, the SME EC Toastmasters, have named our newsletter as Duplication. The first part concentrates on celebration, which is Jubilee, and the second part concentrates on the articles and the write up, which is, which is publications. So, together, it's Duplication. It will have volumes in every meeting, and it is glimpsed this time. So, we are going to have a glimpse about the articles and the achievements of our members along with their extra talents. Before going into it, I would like to thank my mentors, ex coms and members who have given me this wonderful opportunity of the newsletter chat, from which I have learned many new things. So, with all your presence, here comes our newsletter. We have divided our newsletter into various divisions, starting from a marvelous poem till the need of a teacher. Each and every article here is written by our very own members. Every article has a personal touch of the writer because the heading under which we have written the article is based on our own learnings or personal interests. So, let me read out a few headings of our article. The man of your ship that never sinks, an extra mile, overcoming failures, the childhood days, need of a teacher, and then here comes the fun zone. We have created three different entertaining games. So do everybody try these without looking at the answers given in the last. And this page shows our achievements and the accomplishments along with our senior placement records with an assurance of increasing it more and more in the following days. This page shows our extra talents. That is, it contains drawings, photographies, poems and myths. This subsequent page speaks on an important victory of our club, which is our YouTube channel and its event. And do remember to like, share and subscribe our channel. The link of it has been given in our newsletter itself. Thus, our newsletter comes to an end with all our ex along with their roles, our previous meeting players and a thank you note. I'm not going to say about the page before this because it is something special. So do everybody visit yourself and tell us about it and share your thoughts too. So this is our newsletter and I once again extend my gratitude to each and everyone who have been watching into our newsletter. Have a good time reading our glimpse. Thank you one and all and over to the reporter Maheshwar. Thank you Toastmaster Nandini for launching the magazine of SMBC News Channel. This is reporter Magesh Varan reporting from the spot for SMVC News with my cameraman Zoom. Thank you, reporter Mahesh Varan. With this, SMVC News Updates is over. Let us now hear the regional news. We club members feel highly rejoiced. 
says Toastmaster Abia as TCS Maitri Syndicate Toastmasters Club recently celebrated their 200th milestone meeting. The halwa year doesn't melt due to the summer season, but due to the words of our club president, Toastmaster Jason, say the members of Tirnal Valley Toastmasters Club, as he is one of the sweetest and warmest club presidents they have ever had. We all remember God only when our exams are near, say the members of Amrita Toastmasters Club. To perform well in their exams, they conducted their last meeting as a feast to convince God and to bless them with a good school. Since the world is suffering from a pandemic right now, we got an update that a group of friends took part in a good deed to help those who are sick and in need. How did this happen? What is going on? And how did they do this? To know more details on this, let me now call our reporter Mahesh Varan. Yes, Shami. Now we human beings not only lacking in oxygen, but we are also lacking in humanity. Human life needs both oxygen and humanity. Helping an unknown person with kind thoughts is more important. Moreover, that kind thought is known as God. During this pandemic, Many people are suffering a lot. To help them, a fundraising event has been initiated by a group of friends and collect the contribution. This contribution is known as the Joy Maker Contribution, since it contains many people's contributions who lend their helping hands to help those who are in need. So now look at into the special fundraising mantra. Being human is given, but taking up humanity is your choice. Hi, fellow Toastmasters and guests. You all know that these two years, what we have seen is something big and unexpected. This global disaster has taken lives of many in which our loved ones uh, or ones, those who are very close to are also part of it. Let's not let it happen any further. We, along with few other good hearts, started a journey of helping around few people who asked for it. This is who we are, the joy makers. First, I would like to say about something important, which is over the next slide. We, start, we started with the primary need of the human, that is the food. 5 kg of rice along with a kg of salt packets were given to 25 families whose lives are really left threatened by this pandemic in and around the state of Tamil Nadu that is near the district of Tiruvannamalai. Followed by this, we also collaborated with Indra Gandhi Medical Institute in Pondicherry to provide the COVID sufferers with drinking water bottles as they were in urgent need. Followed by this, we provided 300 surgical masks to the frontline workers at Indira Gandhi Medical Institute, Pondicherry. Not only this, few more to go. Buckle up your seats. Few more supplies are to be reaching the government hospital at Karekal, and also few supplies to the primary healthcare center at Metropolitan Pondicherry. People who, people who also would like to be a part of this joy makers, a link of and the portal for payment is given in this slide. It will be open till today six. You can also help along with this. Once a great personality said that. Always be the change you want to see around you. We started to create the change we want to see. How about you, fellow comrades? Thank you for watching the special fundraising montage. This is reporter Magesh reporting from the spot for SMH News with my camera man. Thank you for the update, reporter Mahesh Varun. With this, the regional news is over. Now it is time for 11 a.m. news. All of this has happened 
due to the support of our faculties, mentors, and our members. Say the members of SMBC Toastmasters Club, as they have come out with flying colors as they recently won the Silver Eagle Award for the term 2020 to 2021, and they reached the Honorable President's Distinguished Status. Breaking news. It has been reported that distinguished Toastmaster Raghavan Sridhar is arriving at the airport soon. The public is showing too much interest in his arrival. Who is he? What is he going to do? Is he a VIP? Reporter Maheshwaran? Yes, Amin. Hi, Mati, airport. The crowd is here are eagerly waiting for the distinguished Toastmaster Raghavan Sridhar and very excited to hear his speech and thoughts. This thing is Toastmaster Raghavan Sridhar can arrive the arrivals of the airport anytime soon. Before that, who is he? Who is this thing is Toastmaster Raghavan Sridhar? Let us look into his special mantra. Now, let us see briefly about distinguished Toastmaster Raghavan Sridhar. Raghavan Sridhar joined the Toastmasters Fraternity in 2012. He served as the former Vice President Education of CGI Chennai Toastmasters Club. He served as the former Area Director of D2. In February 2014, the Area Level Contest was held in that he was the winner of Impromptu Speaking Contest and the second runner-up in the prepared speech contest in june 2014 he had achieved the status of alb advanced leader bronze and acb advanced communication bronze in 2017 he got an award called excellence in leadership and mentoring for mentoring the ericsson toastmasters club Chennai. In July 1, 2020, the Distinguished Toastmaster recognition is given to Toastmaster Raghavan Sridhar by the Toastmasters International. In May 2021, the district finals was held for the International Speech Contest in that he was the first runner-up. Yeah, distinguished Toastmaster Raghun Sridhar had arrived. Now we can hear from him. Distinguished Toastmaster Raghun Sridhar, five art forms I learned from Toastmaster. Five art forms I learned from Toastmaster. Distinguished Toastmaster Raghun Sridhar. I'm I'm blushing actually. Um, SME EC Toastmasters Club. Am I visible and am I audible? Uh, reporter, uh, can you can you let me know if you are able to hear me well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible and visible. Okay, I'm going to take some time to calm myself down because I'm really blushing, guys. This I think has been my most favorite introduction ever. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm short of words. I mean, what you guys have pulled off today, um, this entire show, the way you've set it up, um, the MCs Yamini and yeah, I mean. I'm short of words. Very, very well done. 75th meeting. You guys are pros. You are doing this as if this is your 750th. So thank you so much, SMBEC, for calling me here today um, on this 75th milestone meeting. It means a lot to me to be here. I, I never expected the start to be this outstanding and this amazing. So thank you all so much. Um, yeah. Congratulations to you. I want to share my screen. Uh, let me know when you can see it, if you can see it, of course. Um, can one of you tell me if you can see my screen? Yeah, I, I think you can see my screen, right? Yes, yes sir. It's visible. Okay. So, having said all that, uh, why, why Toastmasters? And, and most of you, I think, um, whatever I wanted to say in this session, you guys are actually acting testimonies of what this forum can offer. I mean, look at your own college peers and look at your own college, look at your own selves, how you have transformed and how this forum has given you an opportunity to implement or execute an idea which you might otherwise not have been able to do this efficiently. That in itself is something that I learned from Toastmasters, being able 
to make your ideas into reality being able to bring everything you believe in into something worthwhile like like this i think that's what toastmasters can do over my journey i started i registered as a toastmaster in 2012 but i have been with my the first ever meeting i attended was in 2010 so it's almost 11 years of my journey and that's what i've i've surmised into the five art forms that i learned you will learn it of course and this is something that most of you would have learned as well my only attempt at this point is to summarize that and make sure you realize it you recognize it so that you can make more use of these art forms while you journey through in your toastmasters journey um, okay i missed that <laughs> um, i'm still i'm still blushing with the introduction that you gave with with how uh, outstanding the entire show has been put up i'm like wow <laughs> very good well so looking at these five art forms right what do you learn in toastmasters and maybe your parents might ask your teachers might ask you might ask yourself sometimes why should i join toastmasters what is in it and this particular discussion that we're going to have is maybe just a summary of all that right and uh, make a note of every letter that is in bold in the slide that come up because there is something in it for you when you put them all together okay so here is the first art form that i learned it's called the art form of silence i know uh, toastmasters is all about speaking right and raghavan you are saying silence when this entire forum is about speaking well yeah ask yourself this let me ask you this question my dear uh, reporter friend um, who speaks the most in a toastmasters meeting forget today okay uh, forget today today is a special occasion but who speaks the most in any toastmasters meeting i hope it's tm modi toastmaster of the day absolutely you are on form today my friend whatever you are hoping whatever you are saying it's working so yes it is tm modi right let me ask the your president let me call him mesaya okay uh, mesaya you are the uh, guiding light of this entire club so how long does a tm modi speak in an average meeting let's say an average meeting is 1 hour okay maybe you guys have two hour meeting but in 1 hour how much does a tm modi speak 10 to 15 10 to 15 minutes right so a little lesser actually but yeah 10 minutes is what uh, on an average tm modi speaks so the maximum that anybody speaks in a toastmasters meeting is 10 minutes the second highest would be 7 minutes by a prepared speaker and then everybody else maybe gets one to two minutes each or maybe the evaluator gets three so what do you do in the other times you listen in right you let people talk you let people speak you observe what they do and you give them feedback don't you i know as college students you are used to being silent in class when your teacher does one hour classes or 45 minute classes and yet many of us are distracted many of us don't uh, have the habit of active listening or we are not really forced to do all that but in post masters meeting you learn to observe to listen in and to actively participate and that i think is perhaps the best skill that post master teaches you you take that lessons and you take it into your life as well when you attend interviews now you will learn to listen to what interviewer is actually asking because one of the temptations is even before the question is complete give the answer because you know it but no toastmaster teaches you to be patient to hear the other person out when you go into work and most of you will work some of you will go into your pg as well you will learn to be a lot more silent and let the universe and the atmosphere talk and that is a very key ingredient to success that's the first art form i learned silence not on the letter yes okay next and perhaps the most important tip that i would give everybody because that's the one thing that has actually put me on a different uh, elevator so to speak while people climb the steps being a toastmaster i'm able to take the elevator because i've learned the art of personal branding now what's your signature right this meeting is i will be honest with you and it's not a uh, it's not a um, on the spot emotion right it's it's honest truth i've been with the forum for 10 11 years i have never seen a more organized a more technologically uh, better executed a more 
uh, intelligent thought process that is clearly visible than this meeting really the way that you have handled this as a news program the way it's a, it was a 10 am news and then now it's 11 am news and then the individual segments how uh, an nc is inviting a reporter and how the reporter is even shaking his head as if it is a real one i think beautiful thought process put in right so that has become now your signature your ability guys to be one team uh, i don't know who came up with the idea but it's a team that has pulled off this idea right so that's your signature that's the signature of your club now that you will be able to do better things similarly what is your individual identity now you will take from this forum from this meeting itself anybody who has been involved okay i have done something different and there is a lot of payoff so i need to do this in my life as well who are you as a person hemalata who are you as a person uh, messaya who are you uh, as individual people i i, I have my own mentee with here in your club hema right and she has been a uh, uh, hugely influential person in my journey as well because the small feedback that she has often given her presence in many meetings that i have been a part of i sincerely appreciate that so each of you have a signature and at this phase of your life of your career where you are in your college late i think you are couple of years away from graduating or maybe in final year or some of you are even starting off and then you are going to go out into the world and at this point being aware of your personal brand is important people outside may have a word for it calling boasting blowing your own trumpet forget these words okay because to be successful in life you need to have a very clear signature and you need to be able to know how to brand it and how to promote it don't think of it in a negative angle at all when you ask me right ragun give me your introduction i do type something and give it to you right that's not boasting that's personal branding that's the key difference and i'm sure you will learn it i learned it that's a very important art form for you as well next is something that is very popular and you will all know the art of evaluation right and you evaluate speeches but you know what we actually do in toastmasters let me ask abirami from the pr team right abirami have you had a meeting in smvec when you started the meeting and at the meeting just before starting you realize oh there are a few role players who are missing have you ever faced that situation abirami yes yes sir uh, what do you do when that happens uh on that uh, on that instant i i don't have any ideas about that but our club members take up the role at instant so mm. i will feel very happy for that right and if somebody is not taking up roles you might like suddenly call uh, somebody right and you might say um, let's see who else we have susana uh, why don't you take up this uh, our counter role susana please do it there is nobody else here you do that sometimes right as a team as a group yes sir, you know yes, what sir. you guys are doing when you do that you are actually handling crisis you are trying to manage the show when something is not working you are able to quickly be flexible around it and evaluate the situation evaluate the many options in front of you you might suddenly see okay uh, we have raghavan in the meeting he is a guest yes uh, but uh, grammarian role role player is not there So maybe sometimes you say Raghun sir, grammarian role nobody is there. Can you take it? Right. So you evaluate solutions and you are able to put the right jigsaw puzzle in place and figure out how to handle that situation. So without being explicit about it or without anybody telling you, you are able to handle a crisis. Let's say today, right? Uh, and I am going to and I am feeling a little bit guilty. What is the name of our reporter? Um, my dear reporter friend, tell me your name. I I missed it. reporter makesh sir maheshan right beautiful man i think you are a rock star you are what is that you are holding in your hand it looks like a uh, maida mau place <laughs> so is there a uh, real outstanding hats off to hats off to you maheshan tell me this maheshan have you guys thought of today what if maheshan's internet fails like you are reporting and if your internet fails what what would you have done what is your plan Uh, due to the climate, uh, climatic change, there was a uh, issues in the network. So the reporter uh-huh. Maheshwaran will be joined soon. Please stay and stay hold on for our news. Right. So you have a plan B already in mind, right? Is what happens? It happens in life. 
every day it happens and some of us are prepared some of us are not but as toastmasters you learn to be always prepared what is a plan b what if uh, the report i send to my boss is not okay what if my connectivity fails what if the whatever i am trying to pull off doesn't work by default your mind plans for a plan b plan c plan d and you are able to handle life in general as well happens to all of us i was a uh, evaluation contestant at the district level this time right um, the same gadgets that i'm using right now when i start the contest when we are testing mics the contest master says ragun we can't hear you same gadgets i have been using from the club area division district in the waiting room everything is working when i'm starting to speak at the contest gone all of the years i have spent learning evaluation i come to the finals and it's gone it's not working anymore right and anybody any normal person right it would impact them it would impact them severely and maybe they won't even attempt or i don't know what i did my mind just went ahead and clicked on use the same uh, uh, microphone uh, that's in the laptop and just in that hall i realized i cannot move i should not move even one inch forward or back i just stand like a statue and then present i did that i didn't get placed in the top 3 i know but for me having been able to handle that scenario where i went to the finals and the gadgets fail and still i am able to handle 3 minutes is something that toastmasters taught me right so anything can happen to any of us in toastmasters we learn to evaluate people we learn to evaluate situations we learn to evaluate solutions and we learn to be able to produce honest and constructive feedback and share it with everybody right so my sharan great job my friend you're doing amazingly well the weather is nice and i sincerely hope it remains that way right the one art form that will make a difference though uh, we had aishwarya right try time traveling from 2050 to 2021 and i think the essence of her message is how will you adapt when the entire world got into a lockdown when the entire world was facing a crisis toastmasters didn't even blink an eye the next day that the lockdown was announced we were on online meetings right i am sure many of you have attended meetings in uh, other states other cities other countries other continents i am attending a meeting in pondicherry right yes pre lockdown i was able to travel and i have visited your club once but now here i am on the 75th meeting attending this wouldn't have been easy in the pre lockdown era right so there are many positives as well and when a lot of people crib a lot of people feel negative emotions over flooding them and there is 100 reasons for you to think of negativity postmasters teaches you the art of adapting and making things positive the same thing that goes to handling a meeting when people are not there right it applies here as well we were able to quickly adapt to technology and we because you are a group you adapt quickly to each other look at this idea this idea has been executed by you by 10 11 different people we are not all having the same style of execution right there are different execution there are different thoughts different ways in which you speak different grammatical intonations different accents different backgrounds and yet you have all come together that i think is the most beautiful thing about colleges about toastmasters as well so the art of adapting and finally they say the one who knows himself knows the world i'll tell you something that happened to me in 2013 the first ever contest i contested in a humorous speech contest that was the first and last time i ever contested in humor contest okay uh, because i realized immediately people were laughing at me not at my jokes i also realized that on the spot humor comes fine but i am not able to script a humorous speech and deliver it effectively there are times when you resist feedback that comes in from within your own self there are times when you tell yourself no no i should only think positively that's fine but reality is slightly different those masters gives you an opportunity to experiment with yourself to see what are your strengths what are the areas you need improvement those masters gives you the platform 
to either strengthen your strengths or improve on your uh, areas of improvement as well so in the process you actually learn about yourself i'm sure maheshwaran will know he can pull off um, whatever he has in his hands as the mic i'm sure uh, navin as uh, being part of smv is he know your own strengths i'm sure the newsletter team know how they can design what is the best way to you know showcase uh, a content content to people i'm sure your pr team knows how to promote this club in different ways you would have discovered all these skills and talents and potential through your journey into sports so that's i think the final art form uh, in this particular segment that i learned from those masters has anybody put these things together yet have you all noticed these uh, letters in bold did anybody follow with me what do you think does it summarize to speak right speak speak right the art form of silence the art form of personal branding the art form of evaluation of adapting of knowing yourself when you learn all of it you do learn to speak don't you first of all what is speaking this is what is speaking being able to understand the value of silence is speaking branding yourself putting it out there on the world for people to see and consume that is speaking being able to evaluate people situations solutions and taking the right choices that is speaking adapting to stage adapting to cultures adapting to challenges that is speaking knowing yourself what kind of a person you are what kind of a speaker you are what kind of a toast master you are that is speaking those are the five art forms i learned my dear friends now i'll chat with you one final thing i have dreams and i hope many of you have dreams as well i have always dreamt of going on to the stage to a very very large hall large space regardless of how many people are there just being there in front of so many people being able to influence lives i know i am doing it right now on the zoom call but you know there is one other place i did that friends have dreams be very specific in your dreams because dreams they do come true smvc gave me my dream it was i have i have done speeches before i have spoken to large audiences before but it was at smvc that i i really felt this is what i dreamt this is what i wanted this is worth it all that's why this picture was on my facebook cover for a long 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 time and i know you guys have gone into my facebook profile i, I can see your video you have gone into so many of my memories um, i don't know how you missed this this is the day my dreams came true and this was at your college i hope you can all recognize your auditorium and dying i don't know you how you are i am dying to be able to come back to your college and stand on that stage one more time just to relive that moment and breathe that air so sme ec to masters remember to speak remember to have specific dreams thank you so much for having me here today it's been absolute joy i hope you are able to take some art form out of it and i'm sure you can work on it and have a better career ahead so all the very best once again like i said best meeting i have ever been a part of for your idea for sheer hard work in executing it hats off guys thank you so much and if you have any questions do ask me uh, but i will give it back to maheshwaran to take it forward thank you sir for your valuable and entertaining speech we hope all the viewers will follow what you said this is reporter maheshwaran reporting from the airport for smvc news with my camera on zoom thank you for the update reporter maheshwaran moving back to the 11 am news Toastmaster Hema Supraja and Toastmaster Yogesh, the beloved members of SMBC Toastmasters Club, have won the Excellence in Leadership Award. Toastmaster Hema Supraja for her outstanding PR work, and Toastmaster Yogesh for 
supporting maximum club meetings by taking up roles and aiding them. With this, 11 AM news is over. You are now watching to a smart. We just got an update with this flash news. An important event is about to break out soon at the 75th milestone meeting spot of SMBC Toastmasters Club, as we just got an update that our former news reader has arrived there. What is happening there, reporter Maheshwaran? Yes, Shami. Our former news reader has just arrived with the spot. When we asked her what she is going to do now, she replied me that a special and surprise event she will reveal at the correct time only. So let us all wait for the correct time. This is reporter Mageshwaran reporting from the spot for SMBC News with my cameraman Zoom. Thank you, reporter Maheshwaran. Since it looks like it is about time, without any further ado, let me now call our former news reader, who is now the recognition chair, Smriti. You are now watching Toastmasters Global Television presents SMBC News. For more updates, please keep in touch with our channel and this is the news reader, Yamni Krishna, along with the news reporter, Maheshwaran. Thank you, and over to you, Smriti. Greetings, beloved Toastmasters and dear guests. I am Toastmaster Smriti, the recognition chair of today's meeting. It is essential to thank our mentors who have always been the backbone to all of us, motivating and encouraging us every time we step ahead. First and foremost, I would like to thank our very own club mentor, Toastmaster Abhya Mogus, who stands behind all the ups and downs. She is the one who always guides us in the right path. She motivates her mentees to be skilled like her. Her calmness inspires all of us to handle every situation with ease. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Animesh for being a kind mentor to his mentees. He encourages his mentees to learn many new things and appreciate for every small works they do. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Ashwin for being a supporting mentor to his mentees. He guides them in each and every situation and helps them to improve communication and outstand in all of their skills. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Brito Pradeep for being a patient with his mentees. He guides them in each and every situation and helps them to develop skills in every possible ways. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Gayatri for being an adorable mentor to her mentees. She, has, she motivates her mentees not only in Toastmasters but also in their personal and career. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Me for being empathetic and supporting mentor to his mentees. He never fails to understand what they actually need and teaches them accordingly. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Sivaprakash for being enthusiastic and jovial mentor to his mentees. He always makes sure that everything is perfect and he teaches his mentees the same. He removes the awkwardness and creates a friendly atmosphere to his mentees to converse every time. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Ravindran for being an uplifting mentor to his mentees. He motivates his mentees to stand out of fear and guides them to take every chance to make them better in many different ways. Next. I would like to thank the distinguished Toastmaster Vitya Bhupalan for being a cool mentor to her mentees. She has been a very good listener and teacher in making her mentees learn many new things that helps them build up their career. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Deva for being kind and friendly mentor to his mentees. He encourages them to do everything in a better and unique way. His words of positivity helps them to keep moving forward at all times. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Ashwati Rajan for being a lovable mentor to her mentees. She boosts them and motivates them whenever they fell down. She even clears their doubts at any time in a calm way and guides them whenever they need. Next, I would like to thank Toastmaster Pallavi for being a genial mentor to her mentees. 
She is patient in listening to her mentees and provides them with good feedback and suggestions that help them improve a lot. It is essential to thank our respective ex committee members who have lent their hands in the enhancement of this club. First, I would like to honor the person who is known as the best and majestic king across the division and district is only because of his six brilliant ministers. I would like to thank our immediate past president, Toastmaster Shobhan, for taking this club in a cheerful way with lots of energy and hard work. The next person is the one who has infinite talent and infinite nerves in his brain that no one can stop him from exploring. Even the timer cuts cannot stop him. I would like to honor our former Vice President of Education and current President Toastmaster Meshak for being a strong and confident leader of this club. The next person is the special one who has booked the tickets to London to save the bridge that was falling down. I would like to honor our former Vice President membership Toastmaster Prakash for his persistent efforts and dedication to our club. The next person is the lovely one who imagines herself as Mother Teresa and stands first to help every member in our club. I would like to honor our former Vice President Public Relations, as Master Jasmine, for her creative work and being friendly with everyone. The next person is a similar one to Swami Vivekananda. How Vivekananda dedicated his life to this country. Likewise, this person has dedicated his life to Toastmasters. I am pleased in honoring our former secretary Toastmaster Yokesh for being very punctual in his words. The next person is a humanoid robot. She speaks so well that she never understands what she speaks and even the listeners. I am pleased in honoring our former treasurer and the current vice president of education Toastmaster Divya for taking tremendous efforts towards our club growth. The next person finds to be ignorant in this club but always a vibrant speaker who kicks everyone with her charming smile. I am pleased in honoring our former sergeant at arms, Tasmata Harsha, for paying her constant support to our club. The next person is the one who takes everything on her head and she keeps her video on at all the time, except the time she gives her speech. I would like to honor our vice president membership, Tasmata Harshika, for being very determined in her work. The next person is often known as the hitman of our club. Though he acts like a tiger in front of us, he pretends to be a kitten in front of his mentor. I am pleased in honoring our Vice President of Public Relations, Toastmaster Navin, for being flawless and creative in his works. The next person is the one who takes note of every small thing that happens in a meeting, but he needs to be pushed by someone. I am pleased in honoring our secretary, Toastmaster Sarvesh, for being an active member of our club. The next person is the one you can hear her sound from the ground to the cloud, only before the meeting starts and after adjourning the meeting. I would like to honor our treasurer, Toastmaster Susanna, for being kind and paying constant support to our club. The next person is the police officer of our club, shouting with mellifluous voice and the strange one to give free advices to everyone. I am pleased in honoring our Sergeant at Arms, Tosmaster Raghavi, for rendering good efforts to, to our club. Last but not least, I am grateful to all the members who work for this milestone and all other guests for making your valuable presence here. With this, I will hand over the session to the Magnolia event chat, Tosmaster Anand. Over to event chair. Thank you, Toastmaster Smithy, for your remarkable recognition. Now, let us hear the address from the District Trio. First, let me welcome the Program Quality Director of District 120, Toastmaster Satish Menon, to briefly address the gathering. visible and audible? Yes, sir. Thank you. It has been a great pleasure to be associated with this club for the past uh, 
what I can say, two years, three years. Yeah, I very well remember when you had just chartered and uh, you were having a lot of challenges in getting members to come and speak and having role players and evaluations and uh, Animesh used to reach out to me and I had come to the club three to four times. At that point itself, I was impressed by the enthusiasm of the members to learn because that is the first thing that you need to have in Toastmasters, the enthusiasm. And not only in Toastmasters, but anything that you do in life. If there is enthusiasm to do something, other things will fall in place. And the first thing that struck me with the members was the enthusiasm, because that is why you were reaching out and asking others to say, can you help us uh, run our meetings? From that time onwards till today, the 75th milestone, I'm very happy to see the way the club has progressed. And the kind of show that we have put up today, it is also very brilliant. It's a totally digital platform and you have made full use of it. That shows the way the team has conceptualized and developed the theme for this uh, milestone meeting. As uh, students and Toastmasters, you should always remember that communication plays a very important aspect in our lives. A lot of people think that is not the case. But let me tell you, 54 years of my life, I have known that communication plays a very important part in your life. All of us can be good technically. And today, a lot of technical things can be downloaded from various parts of the internet. But can you download communication skills? You cannot. Can you download networking skills? You cannot. Can you download some kind of uh, software and put it inside you to say, let you become the best communicator or speaker? You cannot, right? All those things need to be practiced. It's only when you practice, if you learn from feedback, you incorporate that feedback and you speak much better next time over, is that when you start becoming better. And that is very true for students like you because maybe in a couple of years from now, you all will all step out of college. Some will go on to do even higher studies. Some will start working. Some will become entrepreneurs. In all of that that you do, you would still need the ability to communicate. Right? Because the world is a competitive world outside. No one is going to give you a job or no one is going to offer you a loan or an admission to a higher course just because you have done something in your undergraduate. Because as the competition gets tough and as the pyramid starts going up, there are a lot of things which I think uh, sir has some technical issues. Sorry, I'm back. That was a technical yes. disconnect. So I'm saying that is where uh, the ability to convey your ideas, the ability to communicate becomes so very important. And that's what Toastmasters teaches you. Every meeting that you come into Toastmasters, right? you learn something. Every time you step out of a Toastmasters meeting, you are better enlightened compared to when you came inside. So every fear that you have with respect to public speaking, communication, you kind of come and practice it in the Toastmasters meeting and when you go out, you find that there is no fear. It was all in your mind. Okay, There was nothing there. Once you take that fear out of your mind, you become that much more confident, that much more free. Which is why I would encourage all of you to continue on that journey. I am in Toastmasters for eight, 
almost now this is my ninth year i did not join toastmasters because i had fear of public speaking or i wanted to climb up the corporate ladder i was already a successful entrepreneur when i came to toastmasters i joined toastmasters because i felt that young people like you in my organization needed it more that's why i started toastmasters in my organization and because of that i also got involved in the movement and let me tell you when you step out of this world the way your personality develops a lot of it has to do with the way you project yourself the way you speak the way you walk the way you read the way you interact with people the way you can converse on certain subjects the way you learn to respect other people's opinion the way you learn to react with rejection the way you learn to success uh, celebrate your success all of that makes you a complete individual and if you look at toastmasters today the toastmasters curriculum the pathways curriculum it it I think sir has some technical issues. Let me go with the second one. So let me welcome the club growth director of District One Hundred and Twenty, distinguished Toastmaster Partha Sardi, to briefly address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. I just saw Sadish back. So Sadish, do you want to conclude your speech? Sadish went offline again. So, good morning, young Toastmasters and esteemed guests who are present here. Congratulations to SMBEC Toastmasters and well wishes of the club on reaching 75 successfully. Raghavan said he would love to be back to your college auditorium. I'm sure you members, you young friends of uh, SMBEC, would also love to be back there. But this lockdown, you might also be, it would have been a long time since you have been back to your college. Yes, it, it would always be great to be back to your home club, to the place where you have started your journey. Now, I really saw a lot of different characteristics in Toastmasters, in SMB Toastmasters. For example, your club president, uh, your uh, club president Anand, he, when he, he had reached out and he said, you know, this is our agenda, Partha, would you be able to join? I said, yes, I would be able to join. And then when I had a challenge, I did tell him, is there a possibility to change the agenda? Normally, it would be a situation where people would change the agenda, but he said, Partha, we have a lot of things planned. So it's going to be a challenge if we change the agenda now, and it would, be, it would make life difficult. I said, yes, okay, in that case, I would work out another plan. And now I realize what he actually meant, because you have put in so much of effort to make sure this has come out as a wonderful event, and therefore, you would like to ensure that it's safe that we are here. In... I'll tell you a story about a person of a culture who is actually making another's culture similar to the one he already had. So one person asked him, so why are you making this culture which is similar to the previous one? He said, uh, you see this culture, it has a defect. What defect? He said the defect is on the nose. That small scratch on the nose. Then the person asked, this, where are you going to place this statue? up 20 feet up, up on the pedestal. 20 feet on the pedestal, nobody's going to even see it. Why? Who know, Who will know about it? This culture, culture says, I know. Now, friends, this is what is a, a typical scenario where you will uh, have, a, you will look at somebody who is always looking at perfectness. How many, want, how many of you want to be that perfect? Great. 
So it's good. It's, it's probably it, it'll be something like the life in college that you all want to be the perfectionist. But let me tell you, when you come out of the real world, it's not that say it's not that easy. Imagine this person is actually given this task. He was given a particular time to do it. Now, if he's doing to going to do an other statue as similar to that, he's going to take extra time. He's going to take extra space or, or the material, and he's also going to have increase in cost. So, when you come into the real world, you are going to be defined not only just by your inspiration, whatever you want to do, but you're also going to be defined by what we call as scope, cost, and also time. So you will also have to look at what is that you are doing. Are we able to do something right the first time, or what are the things that we have as a backup plan? Of course, this is a, a example which I just I, I mentioned. But in real world, there are so many different options that you will have. Where you have to move, where you have to be resilient to changes, and I think that's where those must also come into play. We tell you learn how to adapt to changes when there is something going. When you have a flow and the meeting has a disruption, how do you uh, accommodate that and move ahead? What are the different things you can bring within the meeting to make sure that it is in the benefit of everybody in the first market? So you learn how to change yourself, and that's something which will happen in the real world as well. Just like how I told, because you have to think of the Arab other parameters, not just only about perfection. So this is not again Toastmasters is not only that we have that you can learn out something out of it. You also have a lot of things to contribute, and I'm sure SMVC Toastmasters have rendered phenomenal support. Several clubs in area G3, and not only within area G3, in the, in the entire division and the district as well. So you have helped with ailing clubs. You have helped with volunteering roles whenever required, and ensure we are able to sustain the moment. So thank you so much for being there. We truly appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much for giving back whatever you have learned. And I think that that is the essence of humanity: to receive and then give back, and give back in large amounts. Have a wonderful meeting, and thank you so much for me, making me making me part of your meet today. Hand over the control back to your host. Thank you so much, sir, for your alluring address. Thank you. So, last but not least, we are having our district trio. Let me welcome our district director of District One Twenty, Toastmaster Pravin Mani, to briefly address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Anand. Um, a very good morning to all the members of SMVC Toastmasters Club. Thank you so much for having me invited for your milestone meeting. Congratulations on your milestone achievement. As said by Satish uh, Partha, uh, SMVC is known for the energy and enthusiasm. There's nothing short of enthusiasm. Even this year, uh, a team head by uh, Meshak and other ex core members. Um, thank, congratulations on all the achievements that you've been putting forward to the energy that you bring to District 120 is something which is remarkable when compared to other college clubs, right? And the way you uh, invite the trio for your meeting, the professionalism, it speaks volume about uh, the, the culture that you have in your college as well as the, the mentors who, who, who are supporting you. I'm sure uh, um, uh, we have uh, uh, mentors across district supporting you. We have new area directors coming in year after year. Uh, Abhiya Morris might be very proud of the way in which you are taking a club forward. Ashwin is very proud. And whenever I talk to Ashwin, he speaks in volume about the club. Uh, and yes, I got a lot of insights from Ashwin and I'm looking forward to subscribe the channels of Shoban Raghavi. I heard that you guys have started your own YouTube channel with all the confidence that you gained from um, Toastmasters. And I was also told Hema and Kritik are becoming entrepreneurs. As an entrepreneur, I would be more than happy to connect with you offline to understand what are the things that you're doing differently and how you are trying to add value to the system. And uh, of course, Meshak, I've also been told that you are teaching people on coding. I am still young to learn coding. Hope I can learn a little bit of programming from you. Uh, I'll be looking forward to that as well. Uh, most importantly, I know you're all in the midst of your placements. If you're in final year, yes, I know there's a lot of placements going around. If you're in third year, you'll be planning for your future ahead. The future has changed in a way. Uh, things today, which uh, especially when the companies come to college, most of the interviews are happening virtually. And I'm sure whenever you've been called on a virtual platform to present your interview, I, I think you all will be more confident than any other student from other colleges because Toastmasters has given you that platform to practice your communication skill, leadership skill, and your interpersonal skill in a virtual medium. Uh, being an entrepreneur, when I go on to hire individuals, when we go on for hiring, we look for the ones who are very confident in front of the camera. 
and that is something you guys been doing day in and day out in toastmasters club so practice as much as you can in this virtual mode because when you go for a placement you'll be more confident to meet you will find another a uh, person who's taking interview just like me sitting in front of a camera talking to you when i look at you i can see a lot of confidence brimming on your face sarvesh putting that smile even cha being confident in terms of introducing the members this is all matters when you go for an interview uh, my my humble request that take uh, this juncture in your life very seriously uh, don't miss the boat so put all your best hard work in place and get yourself placed in a, a reputed organization if not you want to go in your own passion i can get a, get a good counseling from your seniors as well as well wish i know this will be very lucrative to put us into a, a youtube channel and all that this all is good but before you make your decision in terms of your life career be very careful i think your college management would be uh, greatly supporting you in this regard talk to your placement coordinator and uh, if in case you look forward for any mentors reach out to the toastmasters community you always been doing that you have a lot of people from toastmasters who come from a lot of experiences they can always come and mentor you guide you in terms of helping you to get into a job or finding you helping you to finalize a career for you we are always there to support you last but not the least uh, i did see the uh, flyer which spoke about the uh, charity that your guys are doing at this age uh, uh, you know having a concern or thought for the society is truly a remarkable one i mean not many would have done that at your age and and this is what going to take you to great heights in your life the attitude satish has mentioned about it partha has mentioned about it i'm not going to say anything different than the word attitude attitude plays a key role in taking you to great heights so remember whatever you learn from toastmasters club the core values integrity respect service and excellence which has been the core values of toastmasters practice that day in and day out once you have a strong attitude it will take you to great heights in life i'm uh, looking forward to see you all as a successful entrepreneurs uh, technical people or if you want to be a successful youtube vlogger go ahead and do whatever you want but be successful and make the toastmasters club where you are part of a proud club thank you so much and back to you even chair thank you so much sir we will take it in a very serious manner sir about toastmasters thank you sir and on behalf of smc toastmasters club i thank the district trio for making your presence sir now it's time for the vote of thanks the upcoming person is the one who is the best dancer the best choreographer and advertisement actor and editor and the event coach for our 75th milestone meeting it's none other than toastmaster kritik v shankar over to you <coughs> gratitude is a sign of noble souls so here i am to express my gratitude to all who have been the major reason for this success i would like to thank my dear fellow toastmasters and guests for making this even a grand success by your presence we hope we made you laugh think and enjoy the session We are grateful to hear the speech of distinguished Toastmaster Raghavan Sridhar. Thank you for sharing your valuable time with us, sir. We wholeheartedly thank our dynamic administrator, director, and principal, Dr. V S K Mikta Chalapati, and our placement officer, Dr. Kaila Sumsar. We would also like to thank the district trio of District 120, Toastmaster Pravin Mani, district director, Toastmaster Satish Menon, program quality director, distinguished Toastmaster Partha Sarathi, Club Board director. We thank you all, sir. We thank our division director, distinguished Toastmaster Alex Jacob, and our division G area directors for getting this event with their presence. A very special thanks to our staff and all other clubs for supporting us on this milestone meeting. We thank our club mentor, Toastmaster Abhya, and every mentor for a never-ending support. Nevertheless, to mention, we thank our role players who are the backbone of the session and our ESCOM team for their guidance. We thank our event chair, Toastmaster Ananta Padmanabhan, who organized the whole session. PR team headed by Toastmaster Ashika, Toastmaster Abhirami, Toastmaster Shri Divya, Toastmaster Lalit Kumar. New state team headed by Toastmaster Nandini, Toastmaster Suzana, Toastmaster Yogesh, Toastmaster Navin. Recognition chair team headed by Toastmaster Smriti. Without you guys, this would not been possible. Thank you all. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you, Toastmaster Kritik, for your valuable vote of thanks. I hope you all enjoyed our meeting. So with this I officially end the 75th milestone meeting thank you all